We've been getting a ton of questions about the do's and don'ts of portrait lighting. So today we're going to go over the five basic rules of portrait lighting positions on sets. All right, so today we have Vinny here with us to help us show the five lighting principles. And we're going to start with Rembrandt lighting. So Rembrandt lighting is also known as 45 degree lighting. It takes its name from the famous painter who used skylights and windows to illuminate his subject. The idea here is to create a small inverted triangle on the subject's cheek that's opposite of the light source. So basically, you have this one key light source here and it's placed at a 45 degree angle from our subject and a little bit higher than eye level. So when we go over here and turn our other light off, you're going to see that inverted triangle show up on Vinny's face. You can smile, Vinny, it's okay. <laughs> So next up, we have split lighting, and split lighting is used to split the face right down the center. It can be used to narrow a wide face or nose. In split lighting, we wanna take our key light and we're gonna move it to the side, and you'll see that line appear right down the middle of Vinny's face, right down his nose. And if you're looking for something even more dramatic, go ahead and move your light back just a little bit more So paramount lighting, often called butterfly or glamour lighting, is generally used for female subjects to highlight the cheekbones and good skin. And as Vinny is showing here, it's very effective. You can see that we've moved the light up and completely parallel to his nose. So there's no lines and it's a nice clean look for him. Next up, we have loop lighting, which is just a minor variation on paramount lighting that we just did. So what we do with loop lighting is we come over here to the light and we're going to actually lower it down a little bit. It's gonna create more drama on Vinny's face and we're gonna move it and it's going to create a small little loop under his nose. So here, you can see that the lighting has gotten a bit more dramatic in this area, but if we go over here, and turn our fill light off, you can really see that that loop has appeared under Vinny's nose. So our last lighting technique today is called profile lighting, also known as rim lighting. And this is used when we have our subject 90 degrees to the camera. So Vinny, if you can turn around this way, you'll see that what we've done here is we've moved our key light from directly in front of Vinny to behind and on the side. And this light, high behind him is creating a rim on his shoulder and head, just like this. So those are the five basic rules of portrait lighting. Thank you so much, Vinny, for being a great sport today. And just remember that these are the foundations of portrait lighting, but it doesn't mean you can't play with your light. Give yourself full creative control over the subject as you apply these five key lighting positions. A high five. Awesome, yes. <laughs>